What can I get for you? I need you to do me a favor. Hello? Uh, how many are there? All within the same town? Uh, uh yeah, alright. Okay. Yeah, I've got the packet. But my point person also gave me a box of crayons? Is, is that for... Oh, in the packet. Uh, okay. Dad. Hi, Christy. Busy day? More than most. Well, it's early yet. Yeah, hi, uh, this is Cassidy, uh, White, Cassidy White. I'm just calling to confirm my appointment for tomorrow.
Hey, Christina, why don't you come out back and help me for a bit? We can hear if someone comes in. Fair, Dad. Just because you feel trapped doesn't mean that I do. I don't feel trapped. Well, good then. It's just that, I mean, your mother and I think that maybe if we had spent more time traveling with you Dad, or... Dad, I am fine. I am happy even. This is a good place to be. I'm not saying it isn't. We've been perfectly content here. I mean, for us, life has been good. I mean, we were able to have you bring you up, but you don't talk to me like you used to. I don't know who you are. You used to make plans. I mean, we, we feel you're better than this. Hey, what are you doing? What? You ate all the cookies. How many? Just me, thanks. No, thank you for giving us a reason to be open tonight. Sorry, I get punchy when it's when it's empty. Uh, can I get you some water? Our other drink? I'll be back in a few minutes for your order. Looks great. Uh, thank you. Enjoy. Peace offering? Thanks, Dad. Bye, Dad.
I'll be right back. Is that a fortune cookie? Indeed it is. I'm out to prove that beef with broccoli isn't the only prophetic food. <laughs> I see. <clears throat> when it comes to the future, luck is on your side. Hmm. Did you write these? Uh, what does that mean? No, I just bake them. I have a box of standard fortunes in the back. Ah. But I think it means you're going to have good luck. Well, I like to believe that I'm in control of my own life. I like to believe I can fly, but it's precisely where luck is involved that you're not in control, so it's a good thing you got this fortune. Also... These are your lucky numbers. Hey Brenner, it's Jameson. New number. Look, you know how I know that my life is not a romantic comedy? Because you're not even picking up the goddamn phone. You're not here to discuss with me the pros and cons of pursuing and otherwise wooing this girl I just met who is obviously meant to be my soulmate. And even if you were here to have said discussion, you're not quirky or funny, thus further confirming the non chick flick nature of my life. I just thought you'd want to know. Yes, okay, in a minute. Okay, uh, give me a call, Mac. Oh, it's uh, Jameson. I, I said that. Uh, Oh, okay. Bye. luck is on your side. Pick up. Pick up. Hello? Uh, hel uh, hello, uh, I, uh, I ate at your restaurant. Um, your prophetic food gave me your, your lucky phone number. Jameson, hi, uh, I was wondering when you were gonna call. Yeah, well, here's the thing, uh, 
I was hoping that I accidentally left my wallet there and... Yes, that was found. So, you have it then? Uh, it, it was put into, uh, lost and found. And my ID was checked. It was either that or, uh, make up a name for you and wait until you came and hope you liked it better than the old one. So, uh, that's it then. You know all my secrets now. Well, I hope you've got more secrets than are printed on your ID. Uh, <laughs> some, yeah. So, uh, may I come by and get it now? Uh, the rooms were open in the morning. Oh, uh, I don't suppose there's any way I could get it sooner. I'm actually pretty close by. Oh, well, actually, no one's there right now, but, um, we can be open as early as 9.30 for you. Oh, well, I, I, I appreciate that. Although I have to say that this whole incident makes me severely doubt the prophetic abilities of your food. This is decidedly not good luck. Well, I'll have a word with the cooks tomorrow. I thought you were the cook. Yes, well, um, I, I'm sorry that if I can't get it to you sooner, I, um... I just got in the bath, and it's a little bit out of my way. Oh, well, um, all right. Uh, I guess it will be okay until tomorrow morning. Thank you, uh... Christina. Christina. Right. Christina. Okay, well, I'll see you tomorrow morning. Right, Jameson. I'll, I'll let you get back to your bath now. I'll see you tomorrow. Christina? Whoa, I didn't mean to startle you. Actually, I meant to do the opposite. I should say I'm sorry. Oh. I don't want you to feel like you disappoint me or you failed me. I mean, I, I don't want you to feel like you don't have choices in life. I know there are choices. I've chosen to stay here. Alright, yes, I'll feed you. Just stop sending messages. Julia, I'm coming back. Hello? Hello. Hello. This is an important customer service call for Cassidy White. We have created a short survey in order to better serve you. As a customer of our personal wireless service department, we know you value your privacy. We would like to thank you and appreciate your input in a call at tight security. Call. Hello? Christina. 
How long have we been friends? I sort of just want to... It's been nearly two decades. Do you realize that? Well... It has. Now I need you to think hard here, Christina. Now I feel old. In all that time, have I ever led you astray? You mean other than that thing with the mini golf windmill? Okay, I mean about stuff that mattered. How about the bookshelf incident? Okay, in matters of love, when have I ever? Why this guy? What makes him different than any other cute guy I see and tell you about? Uh, you gave this one your number. Which he hasn't called. Except for he did. <laughs> Not to talk to me. <sighs> Christina, you are almost 40. I'm 35. Okay, well, fine, but... <sighs> You never get out, and if you don't start chasing after what you want, you are never going to get it. Things don't just come to you, even if you deserve it. I can always count on you to cheer me up. Okay, you need to call this guy. And say what? Say what you feel. That'll go real well. Okay, well, maybe don't go into detail about the not-safe-for-work fantasies involving his mostly naked body. Only mostly naked. Look, are you going to call him, or just be safe and kind of lame, like usual? Safe and kind of lame? That's what you think of me after two decades. Come on. Everyone knows that I'm the paranoid adventurous one, and you're my conservative counterpart. <laughs> Lucky me. Look, if I do call him, are you prepared to buy me all of the Chinese food and ice cream and drinks I'm going to need after it goes badly? I will do you better than that. Better? I will go the full Darcy on you. Why would I need someone else, huh? Hello, uh, Jameson? Yes. Uh, hi. Uh, hi, again. <laughs> oh, Jameson. Listen, I, I don't normally do this. I, I, I don't do this. But, I mean, I, um... I like you. And I don't really know what to say. Uh, but, and... And I don't want to be that pair of barely acquainted strangers who said hello once and how are you and fine, even though I'm not fine and you don't care how I am. I want there to be more than that, or at least to find out if there is. Wow, uh, you sound like me when I talk to girls. Um, uh, yes. Well, I guess we'll find out if there is more than that thing that you said. Um, what do you mean? Well, uh, t to start off with, I'm glad that you called. Uh... Are you still there? Uh, yeah, hi. Sorry, just typing to a friend. Gotta love the ability to talk to anyone, anywhere, at any time without actually talking to them. Uh, right, while talking to someone else. Right. <laughs> this is the dawning of the multitasking age of Aquarius, where Google is a verb. And, uh, because it's a preposition. It's worse than you know. I, I actually once had this entire phone conversation with recorded voices and computers. 
And when the voice was commanded, I pressed a button on my phone and my TV started working again. <laughs> it's sort of like magic. And sort of like being taken over by machines. Well, I, I for one welcome our new machine overlords with open arms. You say that now? But when the machines take over and human interaction is banned, no one will be allowed to pretend that your jokes are funny. Oh, actually, I just had this call from an automated customer service survey or something, and I hung up on it, which would have made me feel better if I had known that it actually hurt their feelings. But it didn't, because they don't have any. Those things are annoying. Yeah, I hate them. Oh, uh, this reminds me, though, I had this teacher um, in college, a uh, business class, actually, and she said that she would give us bonus points if we could figure out a way to overthrow the U.S. government with robots. You know, machines already control everything. It, it's probably too late. All right, well, well at least with, uh, with messaging, there's a real person on the other side of it. Right, like texting. Which I'm slowly becoming addicted to, uh, <laughs> despite prior vow of sanctity. <laughs> This is hard. Talking to me? You and Julia at the same time. Oh, <laughs> try uh, texting someone while watching TV. <laughs> is that what you're doing? Me? Uh, no, I, I'm not even watching TV. Well, actually, my TV's on, but that's normal. I don't usually watch it, I just have it on. Like a technological comfort animal. Good thinking. That way the new overlords will like you. Just what I've always wanted. Christina. Queen of machines. No. No interest in being royalty? No. Really? I'm not royalty. Uh, you didn't want to be a princess when you were younger? No. You don't want superpowers now? No. I mean, I guess maybe it'd be fun, but I'm not that. <laughs> well, clearly you didn't read enough comic books as a child. Yes, I must have been playing with my dolls too much. And your dolls never gained superpowers and went around being heroes? I didn't really have dolls. I did. Well, they wouldn't have been superheroes if I'd had them. I mean, can you imagine a worse life? Everyone constantly expecting you to save them, as if they couldn't do it themselves. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> what, were you abandoned by Superman as a child or something? Look, I just think that people... I mean, even the special god powers, I don't think that... It could be saved unless I wanted it, or at least did it myself. But praying for salvation is so much easier than working for it. You're so optimistic. I'm just pretty sure that there's no savior coming. Well, not with that attitude. Look, I just don't get caught up in this stuff. I just do what I do, and that's that. Yeah, uh, but look, uh, all I'm saying, I, I mean, is uh, people want to be able to do more than they can. E even if they just want their powers for sex or money, they still want them. Not much nobility in wanting powers only for personal gain. But I want them for the good of humanity. Oh, of course you do. That you might sometimes use them to perhaps influence the outcome of certain key football games is irrelevant. Well, I might a bit, but only for the good of humanity. Of course. So, uh... Did you grow up around here? Uh, yeah, basically. My family is from here. They own the restaurant. Oh. So, you don't just work there. That's your place, then. Uh... Hopefully, someday. Uh, as soon as I perfect the art of generating good luck for people via dinner food. Mm. Well, good luck with that then. <laughs> no pun intended. So, you're back here from college to inherit? Uh, actually, I never went to college. I pretty much been here the whole time, like I said. Hmm. So you haven't taken cooking classes anywhere? Sure, with my dad in the restaurant. Um, you can learn all kinds of things from family and friends. They're harsh critics. Oh, uh, no offense meant. I, I just assumed you had a um, degree. I, I mean, you learned No, well. no degree. It just, no superpowered alter ego. I'm just a small town, not quite trailer trash girl who still lives near her family and spends her days in their kitchen. That's really it. Why so quick to disparage yourself? I'm just being honest, I guess. So how about you, from around here? Only temporarily. Uh, probably leaving after tomorrow. Probably? Well, you know, if all goes well. I'm torn between hoping things go well for you and hoping they don't so you'll stay longer. <laughs> Sounds like quite a dilemma. I'm uh, very torn about it. Um, uh...
So, uh, um, did, uh, did, did you come by yourself then? Didn't bring the girlfriend or wife, lover of any other nature? <laughs> I guess that covers all the options, doesn't it? Uh, no, it's just me right now. Uh, well, I'm glad I can quell your one night of loneliness while you're here. Actually, I am. I, I mean, I'm, I'm glad that I called, or, or you, you called, I mean. I'm glad my friend made me, but don't tell her that. Oh. Uh, that's why you called me? Basically, yeah. Oh, well, she sounds very smart. She can be. I'll be sure not to tell her. I appreciate that. Especially since she's not telling me anything at the moment. So, why this short trip? What brings you to my small, out-of-the-way, run-down cafe? Those are two different questions. Oh, am I about to run out? I only have one left? No, I exist to answer questions. Well, okay then. I want to know why you're here and why you chose to come to my place. The cafe? Well, yeah. It's not like we're the only one in town. Oh, I, I just like old buildings. Really? Yeah. I think I was guided by by an unseen force that knew it would be good luck. Thought you didn't believe in luck. Yeah, I like the aesthetic of places that are run down but still cared for. Uh, I mean, really fancy places are that way because somebody uh, threw a bunch of money at them, but not necessarily because there's any love involved. Oh, you think there's love involved in my cafe? Isn't there? Absolutely, but you couldn't tell that by looking at it. Well, things aren't always what they appear. I thought I could tell and I'm glad to be right. Hmm. I like that. Go on. Go on? Yeah, with your story. Oh, <laughs> you, you want to hear my whole story? Um, yes, I think I made that clear, have I not? Perfectly clear, yes ma'am. Uh, guess it goes with the crayons. What? Your story goes with crayons? Oh, uh, no, sorry. <laughs> Something else. Um, my story. I, uh, I did fine in high school. I, uh, dated a cheerleader, got good grades, graduated, got into college. Uh, pretty lucky, I guess, now that I look back on it, but at the time it was just a typical regular boy's life. I'm not sure I want to know too many details about a typical boy's life. Are you sure? So, moving on to college. I can tell you what it sounds like when a family of snails is discovered by an unsuspecting group of girls during gym. I think that's one mystery I can leave forever unsolved, thanks. Your loss. So, moving on to college? Right. Well, uh, I, um, I got there, I left there, uh, I did fine, um, I graduated with a business degree, I, um, I figured I was going to do, uh, marketing or something like that. At the time, it made the most sense because I obviously needed to be successful, and so I needed money. Obviously. Now that I look back on it, I regret thinking like that. It's such teenage thinking, you know? But it was all around me. Uh, it was how the world seemed to work. And still does. Yeah, sadly. Sometime in there, though, I sort of forgot myself a, a bit. Uh, I mean, I, I stopped caring about things. Uh, I just sort of did them. I went through the motions of being an employee, of being a guy. But I used to care about things. I, I used to have passion for making people smile and working with computers and just being alive and all that was totally gone. I came to that realization one day uh, that it was all totally gone and it hit me really hard. That's awful. And has your lover come back? Who? Well, I don't for one minute believe that you came to that realization on your own. So it had to be a lover. Apparently. Well, you already know that she's gone. Uh, anyway, that's another story, and uh, maybe I'll get to it at some point. But the point is that I had to do something. And while I didn't take a baseball bat to the office equipment, I did decide to just leave. I mean, I left everything. I got in my car and drove away. So you ran away? To me it was chasing something rather than fleeing. Uh, I mean, I, I've always just had this 
longing in me, this deep down desire to go out into the world and survive in it on my own. Um, have a real adventure. Some long journey of self-discovery or something. I figured that I would be forced to wake up. Sounds like a tough breakup. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Uh, where was I? Uh, girlfriend leaves, causing you to go on a journey of self-discovery. An improbable journey of self-discovery. Right. Uh, uh, so I drove until I ran out of gas, and then I walked until I found an out-of-the-way motel that looked a bit run down, and I asked if I could trade some work for a night's sleep there. That's how I started. I figured I would publish a book one day that chronicled my adventure. But I haven't. Yet. Yeah. Possibly yet, yeah. Well, Jameson, your life does have quite the storybook feel to it. Thanks. Maybe one of the things I should explore more with my life is storytelling. Yes, you're clearly quite the storyteller. Anyways, the summary of it all is that I've mostly run out of money, uh, I haven't spoken to my family in months, and very few people know where I am. But I like it that way. But, um, you know, now that I've made it across the country, though, I think that my adventuring may be coming to a close. What happens to probably leaving after tomorrow? <laughs> yes, well, I mean, that's, that's different. That's just the regular story. Uh, not everybody gets the longer version. I see, and is the longer version true? Well, uh, they're both true. I just skipped over some details. Aha, uh -huh. we call that lying where I come from. Although, I do have to wonder, after all of this adventuring, why was it you waited until now to lose your wallet? Well, <laughs> it wasn't exactly a plan, I have to say. I, I mean, but the whole trip wasn't a plan. That, that, that was the point. Uh, just to go out and see what happened. Um, to go out and, like, live life like I could do whatever I want, like there weren't rules. No rules. Aha. Uh -huh. Too bad there are rules that say you have to keep your wallet with you. Yeah, I guess I could have just buried it somewhere, but it's just I, I, I just wanted to experience freedom. Like That's impossible, though. I mean, you'd have to go without a bank account or an ID. <laughs> All that stuff, I mean, it's illegal, right? Well, possibly so, but I find some comfort in being a part of everything, too. Um, I mean, in some, you know, official sort of way. Like, th there's a lot of value in having that kind of identity. We're all connected. So, um, you believe that we're all connected, but you still wanted to live in some kind of world where you weren't. Uh, you know what? Uh, no, that story is mostly made up. What part? I didn't leave everything behind, I didn't just pack up and drive away, it's, it's just that I really wish I had. Uh, I just, uh, the, the, the fact is that I'm just a boring, regular guy and I wish that I weren't. Uh, I, I wish I could just pick up and leave everything, I just, I can't. I'm just, I'm just not that brave. Really? You can't even go without your wallet for one night? <laughs> One night? I, I'm struggling with hours here. Yes, except for the lying you're doing admirably. I, I really do wish I could go without it completely. It's interesting, Jameson. You're so scared of being regular, of being who you are, that you won't even tell me who you are. You made up this whole three-act story with subplots and supporting roles just to make yourself sound more interesting than you think you are. I mean, what does that make you? Well, I just... I, I just like to make myself sound more interesting at, at first, I guess. I mean... It makes me scared, Christina. I'm, I'm scared that you won't like me. Well, at least that's honest. Newsflash, Jameson, I don't like people who lie to me. And I don't like guys who don't answer my questions when I ask them. Wait, now, what didn't I answer? Really? Jameson, you haven't told me one goddamn thing about who you really are. Okay, that's not fair. Did I tell you I'm a stripper part-time? Uh, no. Yeah, I'm not. I just said that to make myself sound more interesting. So when you fall for this really interesting part-time stripper girl, you can be disappointed and angry when you find out the boring truth. Oh, okay, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I get your point. Do you? 
The point is, Jameson, that I'm just a regular person, too. I work in my family's restaurant, and I have no grandiose adventures or plans. That's it. That's my whole life. That's all there is to it, and I'm okay with it. Heck, I'm proud of it. But do you love it? Does being a waitress there make you excited? Look, we're not exceptionally exciting or noteworthy people, Jameson. We don't all have to be princesses or heroes, but we do have to be honest with ourselves. But I, I should be a hero. I, I mean, I think all humans are, or could be, exceptional. You really did read too many comics as a child, didn't you? I don't think too many, no. You're lying. I'm absolutely not. I mean, I certainly read a lot of them, but I'm not, not too talking many. about fucking comics, Cassidy. What? Uh, Jameson? Cassidy. Um. Cassidy White. How long have you known? You're fucking lying to me. So why don't we try this again with you actually telling me who you are? Or we can give up and go to bed because I'm about done. No, uh, don't go. I'll, I'll explain. Finally. My real name is Jameson. Jameson Green. I don't even like the name Cassidy. I do have a standard office job, and I didn't abandon it and leave as much as I fantasize about being able to one day. And I drink and play poker and wish I had superpowers. That's all true. Basically, I really am just a boring, regular guy, and I wish I weren't. I do, however, volunteer for a secret organization that, for my own safety and its survival, requires me to have a false identity. Are you fucking kidding me? No. So you're some kind of super secret spy agent? Um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm just a recruiter. And you're gonna hire me to be Bond? Well, um... Bond! Christina Bond! I'll have a martini. But don't even think about shaking it because it's a fucking martini and you don't shake martinis. And you're out of chances. I'm done with you. Christina, wait. Uh, look, I know it's hard to believe. Um, I, it, it took me a long time too and I wish I could tell you more about it. I've already seen both IDs and I don't know what else yeah, I can show. Yeah, I have to get up early tomorrow to open the cafe. Some guy left his wallet there today. Christina, I'm going to bed. Bravo, girl. And it's about time. Do you want to know what he said? Yes! I'm not even a recruiter, really, just a networker. I'm just here on a business trip. He really should have started with the secret organization story first, and then gone into the boring road trip story. Or, you know, told you the truth in the first place? You are okay, right? You are gonna leave me alone to go to bed? Is that what you're really gonna do? this would happen. You knew nothing. What happened? Okay, I will only leave if you promise me that you're just going to go straight to bed. Really? You're not going to call him? You're not even going to listen to that voicemail? Do you think I want to call him back? Tell me that I'm wrong. Fine. You're wrong. Now go home. 
Okay, fine, bye. Purse. don't always go the way we want them to, do they? No, they don't. Okay, uh, look, I I'm sorry that I lied to you, and believe me, I know how all this sounds. Um, look, I, I have a proposal. Uh, let's start again. We're way past being strangers who just said hello, but I don't want to be that guy who might have been something special if he hadn't pissed you off either. I just want to be who I am, and I guess that I haven't really explained that adequately. I, I, I don't know. Um, I guess I'll try and talk to you tomorrow. Good night, Christina. Oh, it, it's Jameson. Um, call me back. Uh, okay, uh, bye. Um, listen, I didn't really want to stop talking to you before. Oh, I, I didn't I, either. I, I'm glad we're starting again. Yes. Well, as to that, I have a counter-proposal. However boring you think it is... You have to tell me the truth. All of it. And for my part, I propose that we meet at a coffee shop somewhere so I can start believing you face-to-face. -face. I, I love it, but, uh, none of the coffee places are open. Oh, listen to the local who knows so much. Well, Actually... There's a 24-hour place. There is? Yes. Oh, I don't think I've been to that one. Why would you have? Uh, I'll show you when we get there. Can, can you text me the address? Already on it. So, I should confess... I lied to you before. Yeah? Did I lose you? Look, it's it's okay. Uh, you don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Hello? Or maybe I've already lost you and I'm just talking to my phone. That could be it too. All right, um, I'll just keep on talking. I'm not sure why. I guess it must make me look cooler. You think? Hi again. Hi, um, sorry, I guess the call dropped. It happens. I didn't take a bath. What? I didn't take a bath. I said I did, but I didn't. And that's why you think the call dropped? No, I just wanted to tell you to start off, or restart off honestly. Oh, uh, okay. So, did you get the address? Yeah, I'll be there shortly. Me too. What the fuck are you doing here? Hello? I have to go. I'll see you there. Okay. I knew that you were going to do this. I knew that you were going to stay up all night with him talking or doing God knows what else. I could hear it in your voice. Christina, Mary, and Lucas, you stay in this house. He could be a crazed person. You do not know why he has two IDs. He could have stolen one. He could be involved in murder and kidnappings. Presumably not in that order. You tell me that you're staying here. Julia, I... No, you, 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 say it. He explained the two IDs then. Logically? Look, I hear you. You're being rational and smart here. <laughs> and you're not. No, I'm not, for once. 
Yeah. Look, I, I know that I'm reading too much into everything. I know that I'm overthinking every interaction we had. I know that I'm repeating over and over in my head every word that we said. Hell, every word that I should have said, but I can't stop. I've never felt so alive before. I didn't even know that this is what alive feels like. I've got all this going on up here, and I feel just stunningly clear. You're right, but it doesn't matter. The bottom line is if there's a chance I could feel this way with the sky all the time, I have to go. Okay, he, he could be a serial killer. Or he could but... be perfect. Then I'm coming with you. Fine, then give me a ride. Is this your smart friend? You promised you wouldn't tell her. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm Julia, and you are? I see, uh, I'm Jameson. Not Cassidy? Well, uh, I'll, uh, I'll show you, but you both have to promise to um, keep quiet. Uh, deal? Okay. Is this gonna take long? Cause I need to get back to screening you. Quick as can be and uh, harmless, I promise. Okay. Would you like some coffee? <clears throat> oh, hi. Uh, what can I get for you? Well, I need you to do me a favor. I need to buy a gift card. Uh-huh. For how much? All of this, uh, but I need you to keep it, and then use it to pay for whoever orders from here after I leave. I'm sorry, what? I'm paying for whoever is next in line after me. You're buying thousands of dollars worth of coffee for whoever walks in next. Yeah. Well, if anybody asks, tell them it's from Joe. From Joe? Yeah. They'll probably just say thank you, though. People like free coffee. And that's it? Yeah. So, is this money stolen or something, and you, like, need to get rid of it? Nope. I'm just spraying some happiness. Uh-huh. Are you insane? Is he insane? I don't think so. Yeah. Are you drunk? Totally sober. What makes you think I won't just take this money for myself? If you need it that badly, why shouldn't you? You have to be drunk. <laughs> Are you high? I mean, do you understand what you're doing? Are you gonna come in here tomorrow and say that I stole it? I understand, and it's not my money, it's Joe's. Sure it is. You know, you seem a little tense. Is it the hours? You should have some coffee. It's free, you know. I work here. It's always free. And now for everybody. Look, Joe. Cass. Uh, my name is Cassidy, I, but I prefer Cass. So who's Joe? Just somebody who likes spreading happiness. Someone even more insane than you, Cassidy. Maybe. Anyway, get these lovely ladies whatever they would like. I'm all set. Crazy fucker. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, I'm sorry. Um, can I get you anything? I guess it's free. this organization that you work for. Well, I'm not really at liberty to say anymore. No, of course not. Someone might kill you. It's not quite like that. You'd have to kill me? There's no killing involved. Uh, just the opposite, in fact. Resurrection? <laughs> <laughs> Look, uh, they, um... We secretly perform good deeds, but I'm not really at liberty to say any more. Well, if they do good things, then why keep it a secret? You have no idea how many times it's come out that I'm a part of this organization and people just stop talking to me. They stop taking me seriously, get scared of me, whatever. Gee, I, I, I can't imagine why. It sounds pretty ridiculous. Uh -huh. Well, the truth is one of the best places to hide, especially when it's so unbelievable. It's like how nobody can recognize that Superman is Clark Kent. Oh, yes, things often work in real life just like they do in comic books. <laughs> <laughs> Think about it. How many people hear my story and don't believe it? Oh, They'll that. never look into it more. I never find out if it's true or not, and the organization is safe. It works. Have you ever heard of us? <laughs> of course not. Exactly. <sighs> really? All right, fine. He's insane, and you're crazy. Are you, uh, planning on staying out all night, kids? I'll give you collateral. What? What? Uh, collateral. Uh, if I don't return Christina safe and sound, you can keep it. Well, what's it? <laughs> um... My wallet? <laughs> I'm worth more than that. <laughs> well, how about that briefcase? Uh, that's not mine to give. And Christina's not mine. Jules, would you just... I think it's okay. <clears throat> I'll uh, leave you two alone for a minute. Christina. He tried to trade you for a wallet that he doesn't even have. Yeah, but do you know how important that is to him? Oh. Christina, he walks around with a briefcase full of probably stolen cash. I just want to make sure that you're okay. I know, Jules, but I think I am. I appreciate it, but it, it's okay. You understand that he really might be insane, right? But harmless. Balances out my safe and lame, don't you think? <laughs> You're already married in your head, aren't you? <clears throat> All right. Christy, just be careful, okay? Don't do anything you wouldn't do. Absolutely avoid doing anything that I would do. What's it like? This place you work for? I'm not really at liberty to say anymore. It was bad enough that I risked showing that operation to you, but this place wasn't on my list in the first place. If not a recruiter who has a job that it is their liberty to talk about. I wish it were mine, but 
I'm only an orange level recruiter and you're asking at least blue level questions. I mean, I just really don't know the answers. They don't tell me, and as a part of my job, I right. don't ask. Right, blue-level questions. You really believe this, don't you? Hand to God, it's all true. So, who's Joe? I have no idea. Come on. Joe is who I work for, but Joe is also violent level, and so I really can't reveal anything more. Mostly because I don't actually know. Uh, <laughs> Joe might not even exist. Right. You're on the orange level, I get it. Blue level questions. I'm glad that you're amused. That's probably the point, <laughs> I suppose. You're, you're making this up to amuse me? No, I'm not making it up. Uh, we're, we started over again, remember? So, I, it, it's all so, true, I swear. Is he just some rich guy somewhere? Gets his rocks off by giving away money without telling anyone who he is? Like I said, Joe is violet level, and so I don't... Blue level. Right. It's my favorite color, you know. I'm a fan of green. Your other last name? My real one. Also a pretty color. Alright, so how do you know that it's legit? I mean, what if that is stolen money or fake? It's not. But how do you know? I mean, isn't that violet level? I know because I trust the human beings that I work with. That's it? Yes. But you don't even know the human beings that you work with. But I trust them. But you don't even know they exist! Well, I trust that they do. Uh, really? Th but that just makes it easy for them to lie to you. They wouldn't do that. Okay, let me get this straight. You're a recruiter for a secret organization, here for some super secret mission that you won't share, and you think you're just a boring regular guy? Well, <laughs> I have to keep it a secret, so in a sense it's like it's a, not a part of me. So, this Joe person, super rich, wants to do good deeds and keep it a secret, and the best thing he can come up with is to buy some coffee for people? There are other operations. The, the coffee is just a hobby. I'm mostly here for Joy Drop, actually, although I probably shouldn't have actually said that. So this is what your life is like? This is like a regular day for you? Yeah. Well... I don't usually talk to girls. Women, uh, female-type people. It shows. Yeah. Since we've started over again, started our conversation with being honest, I have one more lie for you, and then I have another proposal. Ooh, proposal. <laughs> we are moving quickly. Not that proposal, that's your job. Traditionalist. Just regular. But you really are a stripper part-time, right? Would you like me to be? I wouldn't mind it. I like naked chicks. Very mature. <laughs> Sorry. I'll try for more crude next time. See that you do. Yes, ma'am. Anyway, the lie is that I actually have your wallet here. It wasn't lost and found. That part was technically true, but I took it out again. I don't know why. I just, I wanted it to be safe. Not that it wouldn't have been. Anyway, it's in my pocket. And, uh, we've got to go. They can't see you? Better that no one sees me. I'll meet you outside. Get a card ready.
So, this is it then. What? Why? Well, it's late. You have to work in the morning, and I have an important meeting shortly thereafter. An important meeting, eh? A important secret other organization mission meeting? Yes. Joy drop? Yes, but you haven't heard of it. Anyway, since it's so late, I'm thinking it just makes more sense for us to just stay up. I mean, that's my proposal. You don't need sleep? Yes, but conversations like this don't happen every day. I mean, yes, I have to work, and you have a super secret spy meeting that I'd like to know about, but this is important too. This is the kind of conversation that you remember for the rest of your life, even if we never see each other again. And we may not, you, you never know. You might need me for Joy Drop. I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Fine, whatever. But the last time I had a conversation like this, I was maybe 12 or 13 and my best friend was sleeping over. <laughs> we stayed up all night with our flashlights under the covers and we came to the conclusion that all of the truths in the universe were just floating around us like little specks. Each truth had its own little invisible particle, and we kept thinking that we were enlightening each other by grabbing these specks out of the air, pulling them off of each other's hair like monkeys taking bugs off each other. I would grab a speck and say something wise and hand it to her, and she would grab a speck off of me and say something else wise and hand it to me. They were just everywhere. We weren't even saying stuff that was that wise. It was just the next thing that came into our heads. It probably makes sense when you're 12. You remember it for the rest of your life. If this is another chance to have a conversation like that... Thanks. Well, uh, would you like a ride? I have to see to something. I'll be right back. Now you're going? Uh, I'll be back. Here. Collateral. Why are you still here? I just wanted to make sure. I'm sure. Hell, Julia, don't you trust me after two decades? Okay. Here's what I trust. Come here. I remember that can't eat, can't sleep, must stay up all night talking feeling. It is one of life's greatest pleasures, and I am ecstatically happy that you are experiencing it right now. But I also remember that it can cloud judgment sometimes. Not always, but sometimes. I'm okay. Yes, you are. And are you? I'm fine. Well, if you're fine, go home. One of us should get sleep tonight. Look, I know that you don't ever want to talk about it again, but I understand why you're afraid to let me or anyone you care about go alone into a dangerous situation. I care about you too, but I will be okay. I've decided that I trust him. You've said that he could be perfect, and I can see that he isn't. That's neither here nor there, really. I'm just going to trust that he won't kill you. That's the deal. You trust him, and I'll trust you not to be dead tomorrow. Okay? 
Okay. Oh, one more thing. <laughs> I want you to do everything that I would do and more. We'll see. And thank you, Julia. You're a good friend. So are you. Chinese food will be here in 30 minutes. So, let's begin. Tell me what happened. Well, he offered me a ride. And he's an out-of-towner with a rental car, and it's after midnight, so our options were limited. Um, I didn't want to bring him back here. Mm, that was the right decision. Yeah, it was fine. So, we did the only other thing we could do. You went to his hotel room? I can't believe you went to his hotel room. You could have gone out and watched the sunrise. You said to do everything you would do. So, we're in agreement then? God, yes. The sunrise is sleep-inducingly boring. So, do you want to know what happened next? I don't know. Do I want to know what happened? We talked. <laughs> you, know, you could have just said you were here on a business trip, and I wouldn't have questioned it. But you had this huge, elaborate story. What's your point? I think you're lying to yourself. I think you wish you'd done something else or different with your life. You're not happy. Is anybody happy? I mean, really? You're such a cheerful guy. And yes, for the most part, I am happy. I have something I love to do, and I have an opportunity and a venue to do it, and I get rewarded for it. You know, when we have customers. <laughs> so, yeah, me, I'm happy being regular and that being that. But you, it... It really seems like you want to transcend what you are. Of course I do. I want to be better than I am. I'll tell you a secret. Even Julia doesn't know. Okay. So, I'm going to be a famous gourmet cook, and I'm going to inherit this restaurant, and sometimes at night my cat curls up on my bed, and I pet him, and I tell him that life is perfect. He's perfect! I tell him, whispering into his ear and kissing his head. Our life is perfect, and your mummy's going to be a famous gourmet cook, and her fortunes will bring good luck to everyone, and you will have fancy cat food three times a day. And he purrs, and I pet him, and life is good. Sounds it. That's not a secret! Wait. And then I add a qualifier. It's a perfect life, except... because sometimes at night, or when it's quiet in the restaurant, I get hit with quick waves of feeling utterly alone and bored with the routine of work and sleep. Your love for a food doesn't always fulfill your need for love. Wow, that was super cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're too hard on yourself. I think you can only do what you have the opportunity for. If you have a cubicle job, then that's what you do. If you're a rice farmer in Japan, then that's what you do. If your family has a restaurant to inherit, then that's what you do. Exactly. But that's just it. I mean, you're lucky in that you have interests and passions which line up with the opportunities that you have. It, it works out. But what if you didn't? What if you hated food? What if you want to be a construction worker or a stripper? Then I'd be someone else. That someone else might not be lonely. I mean... That thing that's missing that you confess to at night, that's you wanting more. Or at least wondering if there might be something more. Everyone's lonely, it's just that most people don't admit it. That's not the point. I'm 
not sure anymore what the bone is, but I'm sure that's not it. It has something to do with you being who you are. I think that I lost the point when I got one of those exciting tingles you get when you realize that you're talking with a beautiful woman and it's going well. Oh, really? Ugh. Okay, for a minute, I thought... For a minute, I thought he sounded like your father. But, oh, that line. Tingles? It gets better. Also, spoiler, I don't die. All right. Except that when you said that you talked, I thought you meant, like, before other things. All right. I have a question for you that I've had since before I met you. How does that work? Why Cafe Strangeland? Oh, well, that's my idea, too, so you're actually asking the right person. It's not Blue Level? No, you got lucky. I had a fortune about that recently. Prophetic food, the way of the future. Hence Strangeland. It kind of ties into what I was saying before about when I talked to my cat. Your cat near the restaurant? No, no, then it would just be feed me, but, you know, not written in English. Creating a sign for that place would be tricky. Well, it would be just a giant cat head on a stick. Makes me hungry just thinking about it. Which is why it's not the name for the restaurant. Brilliant. Thanks. I'm a cook. I don't do marketing. I do. So, is Strangeland a good name for marketing? It depends. Why is it called that again? Right, the question at hand. Well, sometimes, when I stop thinking about things, and am totally and utterly honest with myself, I kind of get the feeling that I don't belong here. Like... I'm a stranger in a strange land. Like when I was born into this body and it was a mistake. It's not a mistake. What? People that are born are supposed to be born. I do get where you're coming from though about the feeling of not fitting in. I don't think it's you though, I, I think it's the world. I'm okay the world's wrong? Well, it's more complicated than that, but yes, that's exactly it. <laughs> I think that only makes sense to you because you're tired. <laughs> Are you familiar with the saying that goes, God put me on this earth to do a certain number of things, and right now I'm so far behind I'll never die? No, but if it really went down like that, you wouldn't be allowed to die until you were done, right? Like, backwards life insurance. Or I could just fail. That's the option I'm eager to avoid. Well, what things do you think you were put here to do? <sighs> I, I want to transform the world. I, I want to spread joy. Well, I, I do spread joy, but I want to only do that. <laughs> uh, I want to use my entire mind. I want to be capable of doing things that people have only dreamed about. Which is the difference between you and me. I will be happy if I can make a good white sauce from scratch. Mm -hmm. Your destiny may lie on a different path from mine. Very poetic. It's Obi-Wan Kenobi. And you're a geek. Probably. <laughs> so, before we go any further, I have something I need to ask you. Mm -hmm. Why are you single? You did not <laughs> ask that! Ask that? That's kind of what he said. But he did answer it, eventually. I swear at football games on TV, I lose money playing cards, I get drunk at night, I have a job I can't talk about that takes me on random trips for random amounts of time to random places, I don't like cleaning the house. Who does? Um, I burp loudly and I don't care. Um, I'm not rich and I hate the opera. And that's why she left you. I sleep with a pillow in between my legs so my knees don't grind together. I sleep with a nightlight. I alphabetize my food. I alphabetize my books. I'm a slob, except in the kitchen. Um, I have the TV on all the time. I listen to loud classical music. I care more about my cat than any person. Uh, I live in a small town with old people and young people, but nothing in between, and no nightlife. And I won't leave because my family restaurant there that I want to inherit. <laughs> I'm not rich. I don't have a degree. I don't sing or dance or play an instrument. Uh, I don't like sports. I can't stand cigarette smoke. I pee in the shower, and I wish I hadn't just said all that. 
Wow. Basically, I'm just a boring girl with an unexciting future. Boring. You keep using that word. I do not think it means what you think it means. Did he really go Princess Bride on you? <laughs> he said he was a proud geek. Well, I will give him this. Some of that was stuff that I didn't even know about you. Did anything actually interesting happen with this guy? It was all interesting. Okay, well then why did you leave? That's a blue level question. Really? Really? Just a regular girl, huh? <laughs> My favorite color. Green? Yeah. Your eyes. Tingles? There's some. Um, along my spine. Fluttery things? Blue fluttery things. Can't tell you about them. <laughs> Thanks for staying up with me and talking and being a... being who you are. You're not so bad yourself? Even though I like football? Yes, despite your flaws, you're a pretty good guy. <laughs> Do you really pee in the shower? Oh god, I can't <laughs> believe I said that. <laughs> no, 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 it's, it, it's fascinating. See, I pee in the shower. And well, the fact is, every guy ever pees in the shower. Ever since showers were invented, guys have peed in them. It's a way of things. Showers aren't really showers until a guy has peed in them. I just didn't think girls did it too. Okay, first of all, that's really gross and possibly sexist. And second, I wouldn't go changing your perceptions of my gender based on me alone. Is that because you're unique and special? <laughs> yeah, I guess it is. And, um... Yeah, me too. So it was a top secret phone call, and that's the closest we ever came to being lovers. He kicked you out? I... I'm sorry, I, I have to take this. Well, I couldn't exactly stay and listen in. Okay, well... You and I both know... Hello? ...that you are better off. I mean, how could you ever have even trusted him? Although... Not really sure that this actually deserves the full Darcy. Oh, it doesn't. But you know how I love me some Darcy. Mm -hmm. <sighs> That'll be the Chinese food. <sighs> I'll get it. Hello?